What's up YouTube, Eugene here, hope you're all well. We're gonna do a comparison because I get asked this all the time. What's better? What do you prefer better? Um, Rojadov's Diaghilev or Guerlain's Mitsuko. And this is the pure parfum. I thought it was only fair to compare parfum to parfum. You don't wanna compare a thousand dollar pure parfum to a hundred dollar eau de parfum or eau de toilette or parfum de toilette. So this is the modern pure parfum and um so these are very similar for many reasons there's a lot surrounding these so i'll try and cover as much as i can um i think it's a very controversial topic whenever roja dove is concerned for whatever reasons which I th again i think there are many reasons one of them being you know is the whole roja dove a clone brand because he covers a lot of classics um is it a clone brand? I don't know. It's it's so hard to define that. There's just so many things that you need to discuss. But this is a side of Roja that I love. I love um, this classic side of Roja's perfumes. And then there's that other side that I'm not really crazy about. But, you know, he can do what he wants. And, you know, I can either be mad about it or not. And I choose not to. I just don't want to wear them. But regardless. Okay, so... Um, you know, another thing that has caused a lot of controversy between is these two is uh, Luca Turin's statement of, and I don't have the guide with me right now. It's I was looking for it, but I, I didn't know where it was. But you know, Luca made a, a statement about Diaghilev being twice the cost of Mitsuko, but half as good. And I, you know, that once that statement come out, it will forever be a card in the back pocket of Guerlain lovers whenever this argument comes up between these two. I think it's also going to go on um, Diaghilev's headstone once Diaghilev is discontinued and buried. Luca Turin's statement or his quote will go on there because it's like, it's one of the greatest quotes ever, really. Whether it's true or not, it's amazing. And it's really stuck and provided a lot of ammunition for, for this argument, but... Is it as good or is it as, you know, twice as expensive, but half the perfume? I don't know. Like, so a thousand dollars for a hundred mil or close to $400 for 30 mil. When you round them up mil to mil, you know, it's roughly the same cost. So I think that kind of takes that argument away, but a very similar perfumes. Now, is it half as good? Is it half as good? This is the tricky part because we have to decipher we have to define what is good and good for you might not be good for me and good for me might not be good for you. You know the whole thing. So I'm, I'm going to kind of tell you where I fit in, where I see this um, because I do love, you know, I love this genre of perfume. I love the green Shebra. Just something very dreamy about it. I feel like um, my soul is drawn to these types of perfumes. Like I have this this deep connection. It's a very dreamy perfume. So you know when you have a dream and you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh my God, I had this dream and I remember. That's what Mitsuko or Diagula both feel like for me. Like that excitement of a dream or just or old world money or memories or just that thought of you know everything used to be better in the past that's what these remind me of although that's not necessarily a true statement but so these are green they're mossy kind of forest flourish there's some leather in there spices um, musks um probably a little bit more in diagla furry musks animal musks that you know it just smells like used fur used for um, slightly dirty fur like a wolf fur or some sort of animal you know that's what I get in Diaghilev uh, leather accord cinnamon clove um, mosses patchoulis so very very beautiful both of them they're very beautiful and this is the biggest difference that I find and this might be what Luca Turn was talking about um, by Diaghilev being the better or, or Mitsuko being the better composed fragrance and Mitsuko is better blended it's much rounder it's more refined it's it feels more elegant and classy it's a little bit closer to the skin a little bit more 
if I'm being honest, it's much closer to the skin. It acts much more like a pure parfum. Um, it's not as focused. It's not as clear because of how round and, and well-defined it is. Almost like um, the same way that MDCI's uh, Invasion Bar Bar is, you know, how it's uh, it's got huge following. But to me, that's a very well-rounded perfume where, and it's so interwoven together. All the notes are so blended and into each other. I have a hard time separating them. Whereas, let's say, Diaghilev, right? Diaghilev is not as round. It's more sharp. Um, but it also feels more focused to me in that less sharpness. I am able to perceive the notes separate. I can, I can take the note out of the air. I can feel exactly its position in the air. And I can grasp it and I can remove it almost like a Lego. All of the notes in, in, in Diaghilev, you know, the cinnamon, the clove, the leather, the peach, the, the furry musks, the cumin in the dry down, that civety cumin, um, the animalic accord, where I don't have that in Mitsuko. Mitsuko is like this beautiful round ball that's so integrated and woven together and finely stitched. There's no edges to it, nowhere. Now, if that is Luca Turin's point on being the better blended fragrance, I agree with him. A million percent. I agree. Yes. However, and I know, I, I feel like I'm some sort of protector of perfume. And I feel like the right thing to say here is, yes, Mitsuko is the greater perfume. It is the It's a Guerlain, of course. And Guerlain is, you know, it's the old guard. It's the old school. It's what we've all come to love and adore when we reach this kind of pinnacle of perfume. There's no greater perfume than 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 Guerlain or their classics like Mitsuko or Jeki or Le Bleu or Vol de Nuit and Chamad and Abi Rouge and Eritage. You know, it's just that's just everything. That's life, right? But if I'm being dead honest, and you know, honesty is everything. I have to be honest. I cannot tell a lie here. My soul won't have part of it. Um, I enjoy wearing Diaghilev. A little bit more and I'll tell you why because I get more clarity from it I love the craftsmanship of Mitsuko but I feel I am much more engaged with Diaghilev it has my attention and I'm constantly going into Diaghilev well I feel like Mitsuko is just kind of there and I appreciate Mitsuko more at the end of the day than in the moment so in these moments I'm like there's that leather there's that that, that promising leather in Diego. There's that furry musk. Yes, there's that civet. Like, I have so much more clarity, and it's just something that I enjoy more. So, so look at it like this. So, two very similar perfumes. Say you're at a sporting event, right? You're at a sporting event, and the difference between these two is Diaghilev is being at that same sporting event, soccer game, hockey, tennis, I don't care what it is. And this is sitting in the front row of that sporting event. Front row. And you get to be closer to the action. Everything is more clear. Um, the action is more fulfilling. You feel closer to the hits, the goals, the scores, the cheering, all of that. It's just so much more clear. Mitsiko... Mitsuko feels like I'm sitting almost, not quite upper deck, that's way too far, um, but maybe second, third level, where you're pushed away from the distance, it's not as clear, it's kind of, everything's more fady, you feel like you're more outside of the action than inside of the action. The Agla feels like I'm inside of the action. Um... Another comparison I can make is, let's say in the winter winter time around the holiday seasons, there is a party at a house and you can see through the window, right? The window is very clear. There's people inside. They are festive. They are joyous. They're dancing. They're eating. They're talking. They do what people do at Christmas time. They are opening gifts. That would be Diaghilev, right? So you come to that same house 
uh, and Mitsuko, the difference would be a frosted window. You can no longer see through. Now it's it's shady. You see shadows of people. You are left discerning what exactly is happening because it's not as clear. Things are a little bit more fuzzy. And um, you left to your imagination to decide what is going on. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, what do you want? What do you want to be a part of? So that's kind of how I feel. Um, yeah, better blended. This is, this is complex and it's deep. Um, and it's, you know, this, this, this probably goes against me in saying this, but this is like reading war and peace. You know, if you've got the time to indulge in, in war and peace and you've got, a spare 5,000 pages to read, this is, this is your perfume. This is your perfume, but I don't have it. Um, and I hate to say this because I love, I love Mitsuko, but I don't have it at this moment in, in my life at this time to read War and Peace. I think I would, I don't know, just would rather watch the YouTube version. The Cole's Notes, is that a cheap way out? I don't know. I just feel like um, War and Peace maybe needs an update. Hmm. Something like that. You know, I, I know that's going to go against me, but that's just how I feel at, at this moment. I don't really feel like wearing War and Peace. I just want to wear YouTube. I just want to wear YouTube because there's a lot of great things on YouTube. There's a lot of great things on YouTube. A lot of great things. YouTube's not just fucking anime and Call of Duty gamers, right? You can find a lot of good things on YouTube. So it's up to you to decide what it is you want to wear. But that's how I would... I would perceive these. That's how I just did perceive these. Love them both. But um, I'm slightly more drawn to Diaghilev. And uh, that's that's just what it is. That's me. That's me. And uh, there's nothing more that I want to be than me. And speak the truth. Anyway, let us know your thoughts on these two. The separations of these. How do you feel about them? Are you going to be the protector of perfume and stand up for... Mitsuko, which is your right. You have an absolute right to stand up against Mitsuko. Or are you with Diaghilev? You can be both. You can be both. Ultimately, I'd like to be both. I've had this for a couple years. Look at the dent I've put in here. And here is my... That's a 10 mil of Mitsuko Pure Parfum. And I've got a couple of these around. So, Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.